We Americans pretty much take it for granted that if you buy a used car from a reputable dealer, you're not going to hit any speed bumps when you take it to be registered with the state. Not so for one young man who bought a hot rod from this local lot, only to find out that his new wheels were considered, well, hot. This Dodge Challenger has enough horsepower to go from zero to 60 in the time it takes to finish this sentence. Wellington Benjamin is the owner of this muscle car. He and his mother Valerie bought the used vehicle three months earlier from a Kia dealership in Union City, Georgia. This is a car I've always wanted. I've always wanted this car since I was 16. The 22-year-old Wellington is going to have to wait a bit longer to push his V8 to the limits because if it leaves the driveway, whoever's in the driver's seat risks being arrested. And the, and the police system is reported stolen. You heard that right, stolen. Here's how it happened. The Kia dealership bought the Challenger at a car auction. The previous owner, a Miami Hertz car rental lot, reported the vehicle stolen. When it was recovered, Hertz didn't do the proper steps to update the vehicle's paperwork prior to putting it on the block. At the time, the car was still on hot hold in Florida, and Kia still purchased the car. Then they brought the car here to Atlanta where we purchased it. Kia reported the car stolen off their lot before we purchased it. So not only Florida had a hot hold, but Georgia did too. A hot hold is an inventory of stolen vehicles created by law enforcement to identify stolen cars by their VIN number. The hot hold on Wellington's Challenger is preventing him from getting his vehicle's permanent tags. But more concerning for his mother, the car's illegal status puts her son in a potentially dangerous position. If he gets pulled over, it's a problem. You know, because they're, they're going to see it's a hot hole on the car and thinking he's driving a stolen vehicle. So Wellington and his mother contacted the local police to surrender the vehicle and also sought assistance from the Kia dealership. Even trying to talk to the general manager there at Kia, he has not helped us. He's only made things worse. Because instead of helping them clear the car's record, Wellington says the general manager tried to make another sale. They told me that they wanted me to uh, bring the car back and we'll try to close the deal and run a new deal. But I'm like, how could that be fair if I came to you guys with a certain credit score and you know when you get your credit score you ran, it drops a little bit. So for you to run my credit score again, that's not the same number I came in with. So it wouldn't even be a fair deal in the, in the first place. Another snag in the dealership solution? Wellington would have to come up with another down payment, forfeiting the six grand he'd put toward the challenger. They kept on trying to make it seem like I'm in the wrong or it's up to me to solve the issue when it's th they're the ones who sold me the car. As an added insult, the finance company won't freeze the payments on a car that Wellington understandably feels uncomfortable driving. Because I'm just worried that if I do go somewhere, I get pulled over, I'm not really going to be able to explain myself that this is my car, my name is actually, I make payments on the car because and the, the police system is reported stolen. 